Guys, a very good evening. It was indeed an excellent final on display between two of the champion sides of the tournament. Firstly, BB11 and Karmus. You guys put on an excellent show throughout the tournament and even finals didn't disappoint. In the end, one team has to win and one team has to be on the losing side. But Karmus, heads up, you guys have played excellent throughout. A round of applause for you guys. The same way BB11, coming back from starting off at Ajeta and then going on to win it in a classical fashion. Tremendous job done, guys. Before we start, I would like to call upon the chief guest for tonight. We have with us the sponsor of Unicorn Sports Academy, Mr. Abdullah Ibrahim Mohammad Aliari Alali. Sir, can I request you onto the stage, please? Thank you, sir. I also uh, request uh, Saju of Unicorn Sports Academy to join us in the dais, please. It is a great privilege in having you, sir, in, the, in this occasion on uh, addressing the second, on the third year of Ramadan Unicorn League. And with your patronage and as well as your support, we are successfully able to go through the entire tournament. And it wouldn't have happened without your support on this. Thank you, sir. Can I request you to please have a seat? So we move on with the presentation. We also would like to thank our sponsors who are of great support throughout the tournament. Firstly, Alshams Petroleum, Armaf Sterling, and Sportsmith. They were of great support throughout the tournament and thanks to all the sponsors. We would also request the representatives of the sponsors to come and collect a token of appreciation on behalf of Unicorn Sports Academy. Firstly, can I request someone from Alshams Petroleum, please? If he's here, yeah. Requesting someone from Armaf Sterling Perfumes to come and receive the memento on behalf of Armaf, please. Anyone? Okay. Going forward with the event, we first of all, as a custom for the Ramadan tournament, we also announce the annual awards for the best players throughout the year in all the unicorn tournaments. So firstly, we straight away go into the best batsman of the year. Would like to name all the nominees before uh, going on with the awards. Firstly, the, the nominees for the best batsman of the tournament. Abbas KT, Sujit SLS, Rahul Kataria, Mohammad Shahir, and Ansar Hashis. This were the nominees for the best batsman of the year. At number three, with a total of 4,189 runs from his 98 matches, Rahul Kataria. Is Rahul here? Uh, sir, can I request you to make, uh, make this award, please? Rahul not only scoring 4,189 runs, he has to his credit of 171 as his highest score, uh, average of 56, 
with seven centuries at a strike rate of 164. A tremendous job, Rahul. At number two, with a total of 4,480 runs, was Mohammad Shahir from his 134 matches. Shahir? Shahir has the highest score for the year of 176, with a strike rate of 43.9, seven centuries to his kitty, and a strike rate of 177. Guys, a round of applause for him, please. The best batsman of the year, with a total of 5,195 runs, a higher score of 218, strike rate of 41, incredible 14 centuries, and a strike rate of 250 plus. From that too, from 135 matches. Ansar Hashis. Guys, if today if you see Baiju and Saju in the ground, it can only be because of the support they receive from their houses. That's where the support starts. So for the next set of awards for the best bowler of the year, can I request Mrs. Baiju to come on the dais, please? So guys, all complaints can be made to her now. Before going into the best, best three bowlers of the year, would like to name all the nominees. Kiran Mohan, Mohammad Rizwan Saber, Firo Shanawas, Sujit SLS, and Riaz Mohammad were the nominees for the best bowler of the year. At number three, with a total of 129 wickets, from 107 matches, Mohammad Rizwan Saber. Rizwan of his 107 matches, 129 wickets at an economy of 7.57. An average of 19.52. Again, six maidens. He was the he has the highest maidens among all the bowlers, and a strike rate of 15.79. At number two, with 137 wickets from his 143 matches, Kiran Mohan. Kiran? Anyone on behalf of Kiran? The best bowler of the year with 152 wickets from 133 matches, Ferosha Nawaz. Feroz of 133 matches, he has 152 wickets at an economy of 9.8, average of 27, four maidens and a strike rate of 16.66. Congratulations, Feroz. I request you to do one more set of awards. The next one is for the top fielder of the year. The nominees, Gihan Chaturanga, Ansar Rashis, 
Riaz Mohammad, Sujit SLS, and Mohammad Rizwan Sabir. So going into the num uh, the fielder at number three with 104 dismissals, that is 91 catches and 13 runouts, Gihan Chaturanga. Gihan. On behalf of Gihan, we know they'll be receiving the award. At number two, with a total of 106 dismissals, 91 catches and 11 runouts, Riaz Mohammed. Riaz Mohammed. Anyone? No, easy. Congrats, Riaz. The best fielder of the year, I bet he has the safest hands in the game today in cricket. With a total of 126 dismissals, 98 catches and 13 runouts, Mohammad Rizwan Sabir. The next additional award which was announced was for the best all-rounder of the year. For this award, can I request Mrs. Saju to come on the dais, please. Thank you, Mrs. Baiju. The best all-rounder of the year, he is present in all the three categories. Let it be with the bat, with wickets, as well as on the field. With the bat, he has 4,000 plus runs, wickets, 130 plus wickets, and on the field, he is a dynamite and a live wire. Sujit SLS. The next award was an award given for a team that has shown a lot of discipline on and off the field, punctuality, payments and for maintaining each and every aspects on spirit of cricket. The team was adjudged by the officials and the organizers and the award goes to Kudla Cricket Club. Anyone from Kudla Cricket Club? No one, okay. The next award is for the best team of the year. Here I will give you the nominees. Leeds Cricket Club, Bonding Blasters, Auto Deal, Manglo Cricket Club, Majestic Cricket Club and Vikings Cricket Club. The best team of the year award goes to Auto Deal Manglo Cricket Club. They have the most number of victories. And they have played the most number of matches as well throughout the year. Congrats, Fasil.
thank you thank you uh, mrs saju thank you congrats to all the annual award winners and it was your tremendous effort for your for yourself and your team that has given you these accolades congrats guys going into the next part of the awards is for the ramadan unicorn ramadan season 3 firstly as we say umpiring is always a thankless job we would all we would like to give them a token of appreciation before proceeding on with the remaining of the tournament presentation can i request uh, byju to come and do the set of awards for the umpires please firstly imran next requesting ajmal shah shafiq next but not the last the most senior of everyone jalil thank you mr bhaiju i would also like to thank all the 16 teams for being a part of the ramadan cup season 3 to be very honest all the teams were excellent throughout the tournament they had some excellent quality players on display and the discipline shown throughout the ramadan league was too good and we really would like to thank them for putting up a show and making this event a grand success thank you teams next going into the uh, individual awards that's first of all the man of the match of the semi final i would request ajmal shah to come forward to make this set of awards please the man of the match of semi finals 1 played between karmus and auto deal mcc where in karmus winning the match by 8 runs man of the match for his 43 of 29 deliveries and 2 for 31 for an excellent all round performance on delay zaman atari of karmus The man of the match of semi-finals two played between Brilliance Cricket Club and Bonding Blasters. That's BB11. When BB11 winning the match by 42 runs for yet another all-round performance from another player again, 68 not out of 34 deliveries and one for 27. Dhruva Praveen of BB11. the man of the match of the all important final wherein bonding blasters winning the match by 12 runs for his all round effort again 24 runs and 3 for 22 from his four overs dhruva praveen of bb11 
थैंक यू अजमल फॉर द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ अवार्ड्स कैन आई रिक्वेस्ट इमरान टू कम फॉरवर्ड प्लीज द नेक्स्ट सेट ऑफ अवार्ड्स इज द इंडिविजुअल अवार्ड्स फॉर द बेस्ट परफॉर्मर्स ऑफ द टूर्नामेंट फर्स्टली स्टार्टिंग विद द मोस्ट नंबर ऑफ सिक्सेस इन द टूर्नामेंट विद द 30 विद द टोटल नंबर ऑफ 34 सिक्सेस उबेदुल्लाह मोहम्मद ऑफ प्रेडेटर्स उबेद Ubaid please stay back you are also the winner for the next set of awards is for the most number of centuries can you please come and receive the award for the most number of centuries as well ubaid The next award is for the most number of 50s in the tournament with a total of 4 the award goes to Sujit Sudhakar Girija of Strikers <laughs> Guys a round of applause for him please The next award is for the best batsman of the tournament. Yet again, Ubaidullah Muhammad of Predators. Ubaid. The next award is for the best bowler of the tournament. Goes to Vinshad Siana of Brilliance Cricket Club. Vinshad. Okay, now Shad is taking it on behalf of Vinshad. Vinshad, you're center. Let me. Thank you Nashad. The next award is for the best fielder of the tournament with a total of 9 dismissals from his 7 matches. Ashik Bashir of Epic Bashers. The next award is for the best wicketkeeper of the tournament, Abhinand Malarat of Brilliance Cricket Club. Now, Shad again. The next award is for the most valuable player of the tournament. At number 3 was Sujit Sudhakar Girija of Strikers. At number 2 was Mahbub Ali of an MNM group. 
but the most valuable player of the tournament goes to Ubaidullah Mohammed. Requesting Shafiq to do the honors, please. Guys, a round of applause for Ubaidullah, please. The next award is for the most important trophy that everyone has been waiting for. Firstly, we begin with the runners-up team. Can I request the captain of Karmus, Mr. Hari, to come forward, please? Mr. Hari, hard luck. You guys uh, literally pulled off an impossible uh, one in the semis. But, uh, you know, some, somewhere there was a, I can say, a grey area which uh, actually costed you today's final. But what is that you have to say towards the tournament, to your team? And what next? Uh, uh, good evening, everyone. First and foremost, uh, Thank you to the organizers for conducting a, a I wouldn't call a, a excellent tournament. It's, it's an outstanding tournament that uh, has been conducted, in fact. And the way it was hosted, the way it was uh, played, uh, hats off to all the 16 teams who took part in it. Everyone was, uh, you know, I mean, better than uh, the rest. And the winner was uh, the best who was played on that particular day, in fact. So. Thank you very much for hosting uh, a, a great tournament. We hope we'll come back next year and uh, maybe lift the cup. Uh. But having said that, uh, I would like to thank my team first of all, because uh, it's not easy to win uh, eight matches consecutively. And then, yeah, I mean, uh, final we gave it away. Uh, congrats uh, to BB11. Well played, guys. Uh, but. Thank you, thank you team. Uh, let's take this forward. We have one more final tomorrow. I hope uh, that we will change it into, uh, you know, I mean the winners tomorrow then in fact. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Hari, and all the best. Hard luck. Can I request you to receive the uh, runners-up trophy and your cash prize? Sir, can you please do the honours? Guys, a round of applause. Come on, guys. Can I request the captain of BB11? Nofil? Nofil, a tremendous victory. A tremendous victory. An excellent defense on pressure. You know, I, even I'm short of words with the way that you guys have pulled off something many thought was an impossible task, but it was indeed an, a great achievement. What do you have to say to your team, to your opponents, and about the tournament, and what is next in store? Good evening. Uh, good evening. I think th this is the second tournament what we are playing for this Ramadan Cup. Last year, we, we didn't make it out. Uh, this time, like uh, in first seven matches, we won six matches out of seven matches, and we lost one with the same team. Hard luck. Hard luck for Karmus. They played very well in this tournament. And finally, we won only one match against them. So it was a great event of turnarounds from the last year. Yeah. And uh, I would say really good hats off to, uh, for your effort. Thank you. 
and congrats. Thanks, and the trophy is yours, sir. Can I request you to hand over the winner's trophy to the champion side, BB11, the champions of Ra Unicorn Ramadan Cup, Season 3, BB11. Congrats, BB11. They receive a trophy medal and a cash prize of 3,000 dirhams. Congrats, Team BB11. And thank you, sir, for taking out your time and doing the honors. And really, it was a pleasure in having you here. Thank you, sir. Guys, one award uh, is pending for the Fair Play Award of the Year. Uh, we have the captain of Kudla CC here. Can I request you to come forward, please? Dilip? Okay. Go forward. Guys, the Fair Play Team of the Year goes to Kudla CC. Thank you. That's it from the presentation area, guys. Wishing all a great Eid. I hope you all had a good Ramadan that, that we have gone through. And wishing all Eid, a happy Eid. And thank you, guys.